Welcome to Ibritex. Today, this video is going to, about, going to be about the depreciation of the previous approach that we used to do in order to switch between the ordered quantity and sales amount. So we used to create a switch table here and go through the hustle in order to do this function here. Whenever you're clicking on switch, it's switching between the sales amount and sales quantity. Now we are not anymore required to go through that hustle. We are not required anymore to create a separate uh, table through the table creation because we used to do like this, table tools, and we used to go to the table tools, new table, and create a new table here. And that was the switch table. Uh, sorry, this one, switch table. And then we used to create the sales in the sales uh, switch filters, basically uh, going to get the selected value from switch table and based on that value, we used to say, uh, do the, calculate the sales total or uh, calculate the, the ca calculate the sales total or calculate the sales orders quantity, right? We are not required anymore to do that. So let's ignore this filter here, whether it's the shipment or order date. And let's focus on this switch button here. In order to create the same functionality, the new method is very straightforward, very easy one. And if you want to do something like this, but in an easy, easy way, you just go and select, like, let's remove this one here because it's gonna be the last one. So basically we're gonna have something similar, but this one requires a lot less effort rather than the one before. So let's remove this and I'm gonna show you how to create that. Um, so what you're gonna do here is to go to modeling, new parameter and fields. But before to do that, you need to create two uh, uh, two measures in your sales total or whatever you want to calculate. In the sales total, for example, you need to calculate the sales amount and sales quantity. These two are new one. I'm gonna depreciate these dynamic filters because we are not gonna need anymore. But first I wanna show you, this is basically taking the sale, sum of the sales and the sales quantity is taking the sum of the sales order quantity. Once we have this two, we go to the, again, to modeling, we go to new parameter, fields, and the fields, you select fields, and then you give the name, let's call it um, the switch, switch parameter. And then here we would love to have from our new measures, the sales amount measure and sales quantity measure. But before, let me show you something. If you're gonna use instead of sales amount and sales uh, directly the this one here, you're gonna have like if you're gonna create this, you're gonna have um, troubles, so it's not gonna work. Let me show how it's, uh, how it's gonna be. Okay, you're gonna have this one here as a um, uh, having the same uh, structure of the slicer, so you can have the slicer as a tile or um, or as a drop down or how, however you want to have. But the thing that it's not gonna work, um, you're gonna use that. So technically you had to have this one, switch parameter, in the e here, in, in your, where you wanna use that. For instance, if we remove this parameter switch and we use the switch param, okay, the heat one here. So it's, it's, it's not working, it's not, it's not working, it's just ignoring what you do. It's all because in the parameter you had to uh, use not the not the one uh, the total sales but the sum of the total sales. Okay, so this one here is taking the measure. Is here was just changing the measure. But for the simplicity, let me create this again. I'm gonna delete this as it has never existed. And gonna create again the same parameter. So we go to modeling. We go to new parameter field and the field we're gonna use instead of those two. Um, so you can say that why not use the numeric range? Because it's something different. Uh, it's not what we don't do. And so we take the sales total and on the sales total we, we need a sales amount and sales quantity. Here we go. And you create. Did we keep the name? No, we didn't change the name, but we can change later if you want to change. Now we're gonna have the parameter, but I don't wanna this to be named as parameter. I don't like this name. Just rename and call it switch uh, switch param so that's gonna be the name what we will have 
you're gonna take this switch forum now uh, gonna use with this so you move this and bring that here and when you, whenever you're gonna select one of those you're you're supposed to have you are supposed to have why you don't have oh, because it didn't come there I'm oh, sorry I was surprised why it's not working <laughs> so you're gonna have this one here um, changing by selection so basically instead of writing all this code uh, you can just just use this uh, very quick calculation instead of writing all this um, the switch parameters, switch uh, measures and switch table. So you can also ad adjust those here and I want to have the tile as we had before. I want names to be differently written. So you can actually adjust and adapt that for your for whatever you want, however you want to, uh, to be. But the main idea is, is that like it's very quick and, uh, and straightforward. Hope that was uh, useful for you and hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, see you in the next video and uh, cheers. <laughs>